Hey, all. Um, this is the Pentagon Papers right here. New York Times versus United States, also known as the Pentagon Papers case. Um, and you've got the Vietnam War going on. It's 1971. The war is going to end in 1975. All right, so the Pentagon Papers were top secret papers. This is the background. Top secret papers that were leaked out by a man named Daniel Ellsberg. He had access to these papers. And what they were, just go ahead and, and write this down. They were a detailed history commissioned by the government telling all the truth about the Vietnam War. So future leaders could look at it and learn from it. I'm not sure if the government still does that, but basically it was a government commissioned history of the Vietnam War. That's what it was. The government paid people uh, to write it up. Thousands of pages. Okay. And somebody that was reading it, he didn't even work for the government. He worked uh, uh, for a group that the government hired, but he had access to these papers. He let newspapers have it because he was like, man, this is messed up. We got people dying over here in Vietnam for no good reason. They've been lied to. Okay. Okay. So uh, became known as the Pentagon Papers case. The Nixon administration attempted to prevent the New York Times and Washington Post from publishing materials belonging to a classified defense department study regarding the history of the United States activities in Vietnam. The president argued that prior restraint, prior restraint means keeping something from being published, a government order keeping something from being published. And he said it was necessary to protect national security. Uh, you can kind of think of Shank in this, where like uh, there is a clear and present danger. Now, this isn't a speech case. This is a press case. But the case hinged on, well, it was there real risk? Like, are, do they have the names of spies that are overseas that will be killed if their names are out or something like that? Um, okay, so and it was, the Washington Post was all up in it. And there was a movie out here recently called The Post. Here you go as proof. There you are. There's the editor of The Post, uh, played by Tom Hanks. And here is uh, the owner. And the whole movie is about them deciding to publish the Pentagon Papers or not. And the guy who leaked it to them, his name is Daniel Ellsberg. Here he is right here. That's him. Look at this guy. And he's often compared to Matthew Snowden, who's a, who leaked a lot of documents out about our war on terror. Um, but yeah, here's Daniel Ellsberg right here. Sure is now. And then, okay. There's his uh, wife, who he is still married to. He's still alive. All right, so there you go. Constantly by the man's side. Very close relationship, it seems. Okay, let's see. Look at that. I mean, or maybe this just a lot of pictures from the same event. All okay. right, here's a cartoon. You guys like cartoons? Some students are walking in just in time here. Um, what? Yeah, this is the one I was looking at. Look at this guy. Oh, you're gonna enjoy this. New York Times versus the United States. A Pentagon worker. Now, I get maybe. I guess he did work for the Pentagon. Um, maybe. A uh, Pentagon worker, named, man, it'd be cool if I was right and the cartoon was wrong. I might check on that. A Pentagon worker named Ellsberg delivered these today, their top secret documents on the war in Vietnam. This would be the New York Times here. Let's read them carefully before making any decision. And newspapers will do this. They're, they don't want to get anybody killed. Um, Justice Department. This is the government going like, oh, my gosh, they have their hands on the, this stuff. We've got to get an injunction. An injunction is a court order to stop something from happening. So an injunction to stop the newspaper from printing any more articles. He's saying uh, we got to use prior restraint. We got to restrain them from publishing this. Uh, the U.S. District Court ruled in favor of the New York Times. That district court, remember, there are 90 of them. But then it went to the one of the circuit courts, the D.C. Circuit Court. And the circuit court said um, uh, it blocked it. 
All right. So it ruled against the New York Times. So then it goes to the Supreme Court. And in the Supreme Court, the government argued the president has the power to declare things top secret. It's going to hurt the war effort if these papers are uh, published. Ellsberg stole the documents, and he kind of did. He wasn't supposed to do what he did. He broke the law. Freedom of the press is promoted by the First Amendment. The events in the article already happened, so they don't pose a danger. The American public should know about them. It's just, it was just a history, right? And the New York Times, this argument right here, wins freedom of the press. Uh, let's go back to Oye. The question is, um, is the administration's efforts to do prior restraint, prevent the publication of what it termed classified, is that against the First Amendment? And you guys have to specify that it's freedom of speech, okay? And uh, yes, here's a Latin phrase you're not going to have to know. Um, the court held that the government did not overcome the heavy presumption against prior restraint of the press. This means that you're probably not going to, the government is probably not going to be able to do prior restraint. Like there's a heavy presumption against it. There's a heavy bias against it in our history. Um, and we're unlike that in, in democracies. Our press is incredibly free compared to other presses and democracies even. Okay. And uh, they said that you can't just throw the, the word national security around and keep something from being pub published. All right. And just one other thing. It's a, it's a, it's a word. Daniel Ellsberg leaked. He's a leaker. Uh, and uh, so, and uh, Obama really went after leakers. Look how upset he is at leakers right there. Look at this guy. I mean, and then there's this guy. Oh, he looks pretty serious. I think that's Curtis LeMay. I'm not sure. Though. Okay. Uh, and then I just thought like, you guys like, you know, the internet. And I was thinking leakers and uh, see that leaking out information, giving it to the press illegally. Here's something. Is that a baby thing? That's a baby thing? A onesie? Yeah. Okay. So uh, there you go, infants. I love leak. Oh, because they <laughs> wear diapers. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. But uh, their leakers are also called whistleblowers. They blow the whistle on their, the organizations they work for. All right. And then I thought, like, well, what what does leaking look like? If you if you I saw LA leakers a lot. So LA Leakers has nothing yes, to do with it's it. It's the LA Leakers, man. That's right. Power it's a radio show, show in LA. Just incredible sound. And they have oh, rappers come on. We've been invaded and by the rap. DMV, they just give man. them a beat. <laughs> and they just like yeah. start. Up, man? What like, we doing? Do y'all know him? Ad living. Over one million views. The day you tired, it may be a quiet effort. My lady is fired. God damn. What? Okay. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, there you go, guys. There's New York Times versus U.S. No prior restraint, freedom of the press. Look at all Thurgood Marshall. Okay, that's it. Um, we are nearing the end of all podcasts. Man, it's be soon here. <laughs> this could be the last. You never know. The one thing I've learned in life is you never know when the last time is. That's nice. You know, the last time you cha ever change a diaper, last time you do this. You